Some ways to protect yourself from HPV is, as a young girl, you could get the immunisation, or as us more mature lot, <laughs> you can get regular cervical smears done. I have to say again that cervical cancer is a preventable cancer by young women who have never been sexually active um, taking up the vaccine and being immunised against HPV, the human papillomavirus that we now know causes cervical cancer. And then when they reach the ages of 20, um, to actually start being screened so that if they are screened, regularly between 20 and 70. Every three years, they have a great chance of preventing cervical cancer. My friend's little sister just got like an immunization. I think it had something to do with cervical cancer. Is that something I can get? What, what exactly is that? I'm assuming your friend's sister, was she still at school? Yes. Yeah. It's a vaccination against the HPV virus, the HPV virus being what I've mentioned that we know is responsible for causing abnormalities to the cervix and potentially cancer. We can protect women against the commonest strains of the HPV virus and there are a great deal of strains, more than a hundred, but just a small number of them are the ones most responsible for causing cancer of the cervix to develop and also they're responsible for causing genital warts as well. And we can vaccinate against some of the commoner strains that are responsible for doing that. So we greatly reduce the risk of either cancer of the cervix or genital warts developing in young women who have that vaccination. It is important to have it ideally before you become sexually active because once you've already been exposed to and contracted the virus it can no longer protect you the vaccination. Um, although young women who are already sexually active may still get some benefit from having that vaccination because they may not have been exposed to those strains. So um, it's principally for young women, we usually vaccinated about 12 before they become sexually active but by no means out of the question for older women, although it may not be funded by the government for that purpose. Okay. But yeah, I'll be just telling my daughters to have um, a vaccine. I wouldn't just say just to have the vaccine, I'll be telling them to, when it's time to have, um, have regular smears and just giving them the lowdown on what uh, their mother went through, so I wouldn't want them to go through the same thing. So safer sex isn't a foolproof method of preventing HPV. HPV can be passed on through intimate contact, so condom use alone won't help completely prevent HPV, but it is part of the the effort to prevent it, along with the vaccine and regular cervical screening later in life. As a male, it is Definitely, definitely good to um, have safe sex because yeah, you are taking care of yourself and your partner, not just of um, the HPV virus, but anything else, you know. Okay.